Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening, Miss. Uh, welcome to the video conference. Uh, let's see, we're going to wait some minutes um, in order to let the, the other uh, guys join to this video conference. Okay. So uh, we're going to wait just two minutes more and then we're going to start, okay? Okay, teacher, uh, I, uh, I need a, I need a have, I need um, ask for something. Okay, tell me. I, I have a problem with the exercise in the platform. The unit one, I can't, I can't, I don't know why, but all is okay. wrong. Okay, okay, give me a second. I'm going to show you the platform right now, just uh let me see dashboard okay we're going to enter to the platform okay this is it's not working how do you say Quiero aprovechar el tiempo para decirle. <laughs> I wanna advance, advantage. Huh? No. How do uh, you say quiero aprovechar el tiempo para? Uh, well, it could be like, um, I want to. Advantage. Okay, adventure, uh, adventure uh, uh, adventure. time. Adventure at time, okay. Um, it's section one, two, or three? One. Section one. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, which exercise? All. <laughs> which exercise? Number one. Number one. This one? Yes. Okay, this is just an introduction. No, no, no. The number, uh, the exercise one, but this is introduction. Ah, you mean, uh -huh. yes. you mean yes. the exercise yes. 1.2? This one? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay, uh, which one? The number two. Okay, this one. Um, I don't know when I I can use the keep. Uh -huh. For me, is this one? This one. Keep a leg, a leg. And you mean the exercise number two? Uh, could we uh, could we have another water feature? This one keep a lake. Oh, okay, okay, very good. We're going to see. Let's see. Uh, check it out. This I will show you the answer from the from this one. Uh, in this part, you have these different options. I think that what is happening here is that you are uh, adding this one uh, and, and the answer, but you must uh, complete this exercise just adding the, the, the part that is missing there. I'm sorry, give me one moment because I, I take a picture. Okay, okay. Give me one moment, please. I need to take a picture because after I forget. Okay. Okay, tell me, sorry. Uh, the number one, it's okay, but the number two, um, this one is lacking. Okay. Or has a lake. 
Ok. Is, you have three uh, different yeah, options. It could be looks... this one is leaking, uh, this one has a leak, or this one has a leak in it. You have these three different options. Ok. Mm -hmm. I use is leaking, but it's wrong. I don't know why. Maybe you must add the period at the end of the sentence. That's one of the reasons sometimes it's like uh, wrong because we miss the period. So if you notice here, we must add a period. Okay. Can you show me the number four? Um, okay, sure. The waiter needs a new shirt. This one is wearing. And uh, in this in this case, you, you we are using a storm. Um, I don't know what happened with the other guys. I will send them a message because it's a okay. well, eight uh, minutes past an eight. Eight, eight, eight. <laughs> Yes, I will send them a message. Uh, welcome, Miss Rivas. Welcome, Miss Rivas. Are you there? Well, um, I will stop this. I will stop sharing, and um, a, I will show you right now the PPT, the PowerPoint presentation that I have prepared for you this date. Um, just give me a second. Let me see this. this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, there you have, there you have the PowerPoint presentation. This is the cover that we have. And uh, we're going to see, this is the topic that we're going to be uh, discussing. Um, we're going to know um, something about questions and intonation. Okay, when we have to, uh, when we have a, a rising intonation and when we have a down intonation uh, or falling intonation, okay? So that's what we're going to discuss tonight. The objective for this class is, in this class, participants will learn how to make um, the, I'm sorry, how to, how to make proper rising and falling intonation in questions of, of choice, okay? That's, that is the aim of this uh, class tonight. Let's see. Um, first of all, we must define what is intonation. And for this uh, activity, I need you to tell me uh, what do you understand by intonation? What do you understand about intonation? What is intonation for you? You can read this, this uh, 
this paragraph and tell me, maybe you can get an idea about what is intonation. Intonation is the way we say the words okay. or how we express. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Yes, that's the, part of the intonation. Uh -huh, the intonation, the intonation give um, my or or understand to words or phrase or phrase words. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, help, help, help mm -hmm. to help, help uh, for uh, understand their words. Okay, yes. Um, uh, intonation is that. Uh, intonation um, gave us an idea about what is the person telling us. Okay, uh, maybe um, when we use, when we don't use intonation, we can't, it cannot identify uh, if someone is telling us a question or if telling them, te uh, giving us some uh, uh, information that we must know. For instance, check it out this, um, this example. Uh, well, if I say, what do you do this day? Okay, what do you do this day? Uh, if you notice, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What do you do uh, this day? What am I doing with this sentence? I'm sorry, repeat, please. What do you do this day? Uh, I, I don't want you to focus on the question, okay? I don't want you to, to answer that question. What I want to ask you, uh, what is the function of that sentence? What am I doing there? With, with us, uh, with that uh, sentence. Mm, take information. Okay, I want to gather information. I want to know information. So, and that's me, drama that that I am. Okay, I am asking you. Okay. What uh, one of the things that I'm, I'm doing uh, with that sentence is asking you um, a question. Uh, and it's supposed that you can give me an answer with that question. If you notice, um, uh, the pronounce, the, the, uh, sorry, the intonation of that sentence um, is closely related with the purpose of how we construct it. Because if I want to give you information, I won't use that kind of structure. I won't use that kind of intonation, okay? Um, could be this sentence, could be a better example of it. And I can say, um, could be like, okay, may, if I say, do buy any shoes? Uh, you bought new shoes. Okay, if we notice to this sentence, you bought new shoes, could be that um, I'm asking you, uh, 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 I'm asking you information about if you bought shoes, or it can be used to to give information to uh, specify that you or, or say that you bought uh, some shoes. Okay, if I say. You bought some, uh, you bought some shoes, okay? You bought some shoes, shoes. I mean, uh, that's mean I'm asking, okay? But if I say uh, you bought some shoes, you bought some shoes, that the pronunciation, the intonation that I'm using, give me an idea about what am I, what uh, uh, I am doing with this sentence. The intonation uh, help us to identify if I'm asking you or if I'm giving you information about something in specific okay is it clear what i'm saying or uh, do i have to express that information in a different way okay tell me what do you what do you
Oke, okay. guys. Teacher. Hello. I I'm here. Hello. I just want to, I just want you to answer me if a um, um, with this sentence, with these uh, examples that the examples that I gave to you, can we understand how we use intonation? Do you know what is intonation? Yes, yes I understand. Just okay, very good. Thank you for the, uh, what. I, what I want is that if I ask you something, please give me a feedback. Maybe you can say yes, I understood uh, what you okay. said, or it's clear, or something like that. Okay. Okay. I just, I just want you to say that my Wi-Fi is having trouble, so I hear you like you're yes, kind of growing. Uh, sorry, I can I can hear you because there is interference. I see that someone uh, has their mic microphone on mute. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. I will mute it right now. Ah, okay, okay. We are wrong. Okay, okay. Uh, Miss, can you repeat me what you said before? That my Wi-Fi is really bad because I don't know, maybe the wind. And oh, that could be one of the reasons that I, I, I listen in, in that way because that's happening right now to me too. Um, that there are like um, uh, a lack, okay? Uh, yeah, no. So that could be one of the reasons. But you can yeah, so you can watch the video. I, that, uh -huh. Yeah, I barely hear you, <laughs> like really bad. But I kind of understand because I already read it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, good. So also something that you can do is watch the video later because I upload the, the video to YouTube, uh, to the channel of Inglés Corporativo. So you can check it, check this video there, okay? Okay, thank you. Well, um, intonation, and here we have the, 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 the information in this, uh, in this paragraph. It says that intonation and stress are closely linked. In fact, it's impossible to dis dissociate them. They go uh, hand in hand. It says that intonation is about how we say things, okay? Rather than what we say. That's something that we have to keep in mind. It's the way how we say things and not what we say. That, that's, we have to highlight that information. Uh, also, it says the way the, the voice rises and falls when speaking, in other words, the music of the language, okay? Something important. Intonation is like the music of the language, how we say things, how, how we express uh, those things. Well, we're going to see some examples about it. Um, and here I have some, um, some example of, of it. It says, just as words have stressed syllables, sentences have regular patterns of stressed word. In addition, the voice tends to rise, fall, or remain flat depending on the meaning or, or feeling that we want to convey. For instance, if I say something, uh, the intonation that I can give to that sentence could be for surprise, if I'm anger, okay, if I'm inter if I have interest, if, if the conversation is boredom, uh, if I have gratitude, etc. So we can express those feelings, okay? We can express those feelings when we say things. Uh, in intonation, the words indicates the mood of the speaker. If I'm sad, I will speak sad, okay? If I'm if if I'm happy, uh, I will speak happy. If I'm under anger, so I will be a saying things anger. Okay. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes or not? Thumbs up or thumbs up? Yes, it's clear. Yeah. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, well, check it out this. There are two basic patterns of intonation in English, and those intonations are falling and um, rising, okay? Falling intonation and rising intonation. We have those patterns. Uh, it says in the following examples, don't word arrow indicates a fault in intonation, and the odd word arrow indicates a rise in intonation, okay? Those are the symbols that we're going to be using um, with these examples that we're going to check. Very good. Uh, check it out this. Uh, again, these are not true, but patterns generally used by native speaker of English, okay? Something important. Um, the intonations, the intonation uh, doesn't have rules, okay? Doesn't have rules because you can speak as you want and you can express your thing as you want and it doesn't matter, okay? But if you want to convey in meaning, okay? If you want to say something uh, or express something and uh, transmit that feeling, you must use those, uh, those intonations that we're going to be work, working uh, tonight. Uh, just remember that content words are stress and intonation adds attitude or emotion, okay? There is something different between stress and intonation. Those are, uh, uh, those are two different things. They are linked, but they are different. Stress is the, is the um, uh, how we pronounce words, okay? The pronunciation of words. And intonation is how we say the things, how we um, transmit the things. Um, <clears throat> it says this explanation on intonation is intended to serve as a general guide to help learners. It should in no way make them unnecessarily anxious, okay? Um, check it out this. The pitch of the voice falls at the end of the sentence. Okay, what happened here? If, the, uh, if we have a falling intonation, if we have a falling intonation, uh, I will try to delete this, give me a second. Well, I'm going to use a different one. Um, this one, this part, the, the, this arrow that I have here is going to give me a falling intonation, okay? I start speaking flat, but I'm falling with intonation, okay? Falling intonation is the most common intonation pattern in English. And also it is commonly found in statements, commands, WH question, information questions, confirmatory question, tags, and exclamation, okay? Uh, that's the most common uh, uh, intonations that, that we have, falling intonation, okay? It's common. Uh, we're going to see some statements. Uh, check out these this, this statements, because we're going to see how the intonations fall in the sentence. Nice to meet you, okay? Nice to meet you. So if you notice, it, it is a falling at the end. Nice to meet you, okay? Um, I will back in a minute, okay? I will back in a minute. So it's full in intonation. Uh, the following examples, she doesn't live here anymore, okay? She doesn't live here anymore. So it's a full in intonation. That wants to change his car, okay? Here is the weather forecast. So all those sentences give us a falling intonation because old end in a falling. Nice to meet you. Okay, I will back in a minute. Okay, those are falling intonations. Is it clear what I'm saying? Okay, thumbs up. Very good. Uh, then we're going to uh, see. Um, what are some of the following intonations with WH question? If we have a WH questions, we can see or we can identify here. Um, uh, for instance, the number one, if we want to request information, uh, we have to use a WH question. Uh, these, these WH questions could be 
who, what, why, where, when, which, and how. Okay, those are the, um, uh, the, the WH questions that we have in English. And how it works, those WH questions in a sentence and using following intonation. For instance, if I say, what country do you come from? Okay, what country do you come from? Okay, it's a falling in that sentence. Where do you work? Okay, where do you work? Falling intonation. Okay, uh, if I, I can, I can make like an arrow here. Uh, which of them do you prefer? Okay, which of them do you prefer? So this is a falling intonation. Um, then we we have a rising intonation. And rising intonation says is the pitch of voice rises at the end of the sentence. Um, and rising intonations invites the speaker to continue talking. Okay. Um, and this rising intonation is uh, commonly used with yes or not question and question stack that are real questions. For instance, here we have an example of it. It says, um, Yes, not question. Questions that can be answered yes or not. Like, for instance, do you like the new t shirt? Okay, do you like the new t shirt? Do you like the new t shirt? So that's a rising intonation. And the answer could be, oh, yes, I like. No, I like. Uh, no, I don't like. Okay, yes, I like. No, I don't like. Uh, for instance, we can say, have you finished? Okay, have you finished? That's rising intonation. Uh, we, and, I mean, have you finished already? So we have like, if, if we make an arrow here, we can say like, have you finished already? So this is rising intonation. May I borrow your dictionary? Okay. Uh, do you have any magazine? Do you sell stamps? Okay. So. The, if we uh, ask just a question, we are going to use rising intonation. Questions that, that show uncertain and require an answer. Those are called real questions. Um, we had met already, haven't we? Okay, haven't we? So that's a rising intonation because it's um, uh, uh, it's a question with a tag at the end. Uh, you like fish, don't you? Okay, don't you? If you notice, don't you? It's a rising intonation. You are the new student, aren't you? Okay, aren't you? So if we notice there, we have a rising intonation in each of the tags that we have here. Those the, that, the, that are at the end, like have, haven't we, don't you, aren't you, isn't it? Okay, those are tags. And when we use tax, all them are rising uh, when we um, uh, when um, we use intonation on it. Okay. Here are this. It says the intonation of a statement goes down, and the intonation of some statements goes up. This difference in the direction of the pitch changes the meaning of, of, of what we are saying. Okay, also, um, because uh, if we want to convey a, a, a meaning about a, uh, one sentence um, and we want to ask a question, okay, could be falling or rising intonation, but if we want to um, uh, give any information, depending on what we want to say, it's going to be falling or rising. Uh, it's not the same if I say, if I tell you, uh, for instance, one of, of these questions. Do you self stamps? Okay, do you self stamps? Um, so in that, in that case, I'm uh, asking you with the rising intonation. But if I say, for instance, uh, the example that we used at the beginning. Um, okay. Um, you speak English, okay? Do you speak English? Do you speak English, okay? Um, if we say, do you speak English? 
Uh, that means that I'm, uh, I'm uh, telling you that you speak English. I'm not asking you there. I'm, uh, um, I'm giving an information about something using um, falling intonation. But this intonation that we have here uh, uh, gives us the meaning. It's different if I say, uh, you speak English? Do you speak English? So this is an informal question, but uh, it applies when we are asking something uh, in a specific. And the intonation that we give to it uh, will be, the, the sentence will be understood by a question or by a, a sentence um, just giving information about something. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes? Very good. So that means that we are going to watch a video and then we are going to be working on and something. Give me a second. I will I will uh, put a video using the platform because it's not it's not working here. Give me a second, I will stop sharing. Okay, please pay attention to this uh, to this video. Uh, let me know if you can uh, listen the the audio of this video. If not, let, uh, please uh, tell me. Open your microphone. Tell me uh, that you can now listen it. Okay. Uh, so pay attention to this video, and then we're going to be working uh, on it. Okay. Hi, making the right intonation will help you sound natural when speaking. We want you to notice the intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Would you prefer to play the guitar? or the violin. Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? Okay, if you notice here. We want you to notice the intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation. Yeah, I will stop here. I will stop here. Because uh, we're going to see um, the intonation of these uh, questions, okay? Um, would you rather it I mean, would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Okay, if we notice on those centers, we are using rising and folding intonation with these uh, words. Uh, would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Those are um, questions of choice because we have to select one of them. Um, would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Okay. Rising 
and folding intonation. The same happened with the sentence number three, where, it, where we say, would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Okay, fashion, that's a rising intonation and hospitality, um, it's a falling intonation. The last one, it says, do you prefer to study in the day or at night? So uh, there, we are using the same, uh, the date as rising intonation and at night as falling intonation. Questions of choice. Okay. Well, it's your turn. You're going, what you're going to do right now is to um, discuss with your classmate what is a rising intonation and what is uh, a falling intonation. And uh, you're going to um, try to, try to, uh, a, well, you're going to explain how this rising and falling intonations works and what it is, okay? Uh, you are, we are three people here, we are three people here, and uh, you are going to be discussing about this and then you are going to be uh, uh, telling me what do you think about this rising and falling intonation. Uh, Ms. Campos, Ms. Rivas, and Mr. Castillo, please open your microphone and discuss. Uh, please uh, discuss about this topic, and then uh, you can select one of you um, that's going to give me um, the explanation of it. Okay, what is rising intonation? What is falling intonation? Is it clear what I'm saying? Is it clear the instruction? No. Can you okay. repeat, please? Sure. Uh, what yeah. you are going to do right now is to um, talk about rising and falling intonation. Okay. You are going to be talking about what you understood uh, about this topic. Okay. And uh, one of you is going to tell me, so because it's going to be a discussion, uh, the three of you. One Richard, of you is I going to know. tell. I Teacher, give me one moment, please. I don't know if your internet or my internet, but I listened good. Uh, okay, could be my internet, I don't know. maybe. Uh, I'm going to check right now. Because I hear him the same way you are. Uh, okay, give me a second. I will try to solve it as soon as possible. Please. Uh, Stay there. Okay. I listened a bit. I understand. I understand that. Do you want that we speak it about the topic and yes. use the information? Yes, yes, that's true. That's okay. what we are going to do. But uh, give me a second. I will try to solve this internet connection. Um, okay. Well. I don't know if, uh, well, I will stop uh, the video. Uh, it could be better in that way. Can you listen to me now? It's better? Yes. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, I was telling you that you have to discuss about this topic, about rising intonation. What is rising intonation? What is falling intonation? What is intonation? Uh, okay, well, the things that you understood about this topic, you are going to discuss Okay, you're going to discuss. I will be here listening, yeah. but one of you is going to uh, make a, a small exposition. We'll be calling that way exposition, okay? Um, and you're going to tell me what is falling, rising intonation, uh, those things, okay? So um, you're going to have just five minutes to discuss because you are just three. Uh, Ms. Campos, Ms. Rivas, and Mr. Castillo. Okay, open your microphone and discuss. Is it clear now? Yes. Okay, amazing. Uh, well, I will let you work right now. I will back. I will be back in five minutes. Okay. Okay. Which the topic? Rising and Whenever falling. Whenever topic. Rising and falling intonation. Rising and falling intonation. Mm. 
I okay. But last week, I I have I has a travel, I has a problem with a uh, exercise. Did you understand me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, okay, okay. More or less, is a good example or not? Guys, good guys, uh, hello. Okay, instead of giving uh, mm -hmm. examples of it, what you're going to be talking about is how, oh, well, what is rising intonation? What is the, I want the meaning of it. Uh, what you understood okay. by rising intonation and what you understood about falling intonation. That's what I want, okay? So, in order to okay. give a guide you uh, to work. Okay. Okay, so the rising intonation means how are you going to speak about, not about, I mean the phrasal that you are going to use. So if you are going to scream because you are scared, you are going to rise your intonation because you are scared. And when you ask something to someone, you use some kind of intonation because it's not just to say, it's to ask. So you change your intonation of your voice. For example, when a kid got a knife you said put that down is an order so you your voice intonation is mad angry rude loud and when you are sad well you speak low is that difference that could be an example of rising intonation or the difference between rising intonation or not. Good. It's okay, exactly. But for me, it's uh, the rising intonation is okay, it's but basically um, increasing the intonation in some types of sentences. For example, um, she could talk, talk about how interrogative sentences have their intonation up at the end. It's important for the song is necessary uh, the intonation because the people sound flat and the flat uh, um, is, a, is a bad listen for the another people and don't understand the intention in, in the conversation. For me, so it's okay. <laughs> for me, the intonation is for it. Um, King um, intonation is good for a uh, help to understand the the inton in the sense understand the sense. For example, when you are surprised, you use the intonation. When you uh, when you have a question, you use other intonation. When you have a um, lovely is internet is other intonation. So the intonation have a, a mind the, to the for, for, uh, to the worst. For example, I can understand, and the other I can understand, or I understand. In posit, uh, positive or negative, you used 
uh, different intonation. It's clean? Yes. Yes, yes it's sí. clean. Good, Lea. Thank you. <laughs> you. It's an intonation. <laughs> yes. I I miss the, the class yesterday. Can you explain me what what it was about? Um, the last night talking about uh, use the. Give me one moment. I have at the class here. Um, as if with a pronounced preposition, the use. Mm -hmm. As if with a preposition. Present, when you use a present continuous, passive or present perfect passive when you when you use is always use bain and uh, next the verb in in present continuous mm -hmm. when you use present perfect tense for example um, you use uh, the auxiliary have being and the verb is in present perfect. Like I, uh, present, I, I have a problem with a with a present perfect passive because they use the other the other for the verb. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, well, maybe I can give you feedback about it. Okay? I compare and compare. Sorry, I maybe I can give you feedback about, about this topic, about uh, the present perfect passive and, and also the present continuous passive. Okay, in these cases, both are easy to, to construct it. Uh, we're going to use a, the, the structure of a simple, uh, well, a present continuous passive. Um, it's going to be just present continuous, and at the end we have to add uh, the past participle. In that way, we're going to construct a sentence uh, that is called present continuous passive. I can give you an example of it. For instance, you can say uh, she is working. Okay, she is working, uh, and after working, you can add the um the uh, well you can add a past participle okay you can ask a verb in past participle in that way we construct the c uh, the present continuous past okay in the case of the present perfect passive we're going to use the structure of of of, of um a present perfect okay that is using the subject plus hat plus been and then after being we are going to be using a past participle, okay? You have been, instead of the using the, in, in, well, after using uh, the, the verb be, okay, the, in, in past participle being, we have to add a past participle verb in order to create the present perfect passive. It's subject, have, been, plus the past participle. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yeah. More or less? Yes? No? More or less. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, maybe in this coming video conference, I, I can give you a feedback because if you, um, if you haven't worked on it, well, uh, please try to solve those exercises. And in this coming uh, MBD conference that we're going to have tomorrow, I will uh, take uh, some minutes, maybe five, 10 minutes, in order to explain how does a uh, present continuous passive works and also how uh, present perfect passive work, uh, works, I mean. Um, I will do it tomorrow, okay, due to the time. 
because I want to ask you right now about um, what do you think, uh, th this is going to be a conversation with, with me, um, what do you think about, uh, about these classes? Uh, how is it being developing? Because I want to listen to you, I want to see what, you, uh, what are you, your needs in order to try to solve it during uh, those, this video conference. So if you have something to comment, it, this is the right moment to do it, okay? Okay. Tell me. Okay, teacher. Okay, well, tell me. What do you think about this class? You think it's bored? You think it's interesting? You think that's maybe in a different way? We have to add more exercises? Well, tell me. Um, I would like to do more exercising like you put us like 30 exercises about the class because that's the way you learn practicing yes that's true in, in the platform it's fine I'm, I'm really glad i can learn that's but i i think there's more exercises okay. we can do Okay, very I mean, good. What you mean? Exercise. Okay, what you mean is that we must uh, add more exercises in order to practice, right? Yeah. Okay, very like good. I will take it into account. I will take it into account because that, that's good. And, and something that you said um, the, that well uh, that you already mentioned before is that we learn practicing, and that's true. Okay, uh, the more yeah. practice, okay. The more we practice, the more that we learn, okay? That's something important, practicing. Uh, let me see, uh, Mr. Castillo, you, do you have something to add? Yes, um, yes, teacher, uh, you have reason in the practice. I have been practicing um, all night on, or in, evening afternoon and sometimes in my job too but it necessary um, and and to to be continued practice the grammar mm -hmm. um, and and okay. every day and with the meat if possible practice with my with my my son uh, because the this uh, heat heat dry better than English. Um, I have uh, in, in the help with them uh, with my my sons, but it's necessary to practice every day in, in English and to uh, less uh, necessary less the 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 scare for. Uh, talking with another person. Okay, very good. We're going to work on it. Okay, uh, I will uh, try to add grammar to, uh, rules and also um, grammar exercises in order to practice. And also, as you say, um, uh, so, uh, I like the well, the idea with my classes are that you can express yourself. Okay, uh, I focus more on speaking. That is uh, one of the weak areas sometimes uh, with English uh, learners. And uh, I focus on it. But if you want, we can like uh, create a 50-50, 50% talking and 50% uh, practicing exercises. I will try to do that. Very good, thank you. Oh, and, and that's good. It's, it's really nice that you can be uh, like um, working with your, it's your son, you said, right? Your son. Okay, yes. <laughs> no, I'm asking you, is your son that is uh, learning uh, English? Uh, yes, in, in my son in, in, in another academy. Uh, oh, okay. Then you. 
Okay, okay, mm -hmm. very good. You can practice with him, and, and that's really nice because you can you, you have someone that can understand you, and also you have someone that can uh, be giving you a feedback, right? Like maybe uh, this word is pronounced in this way, and you will notice how they uh, pronounce on sometimes uh, sentences, words, things like that, and he also will be um uh, noticing how you pronounce some words that that's very good have that feedback yeah. when you have someone that is learning english too that's good uh means campus okay. you want to add something um maybe it's the same uh, i think that i i need to practice more more examples okay you want then... more examples of the uh, topics that we're discussing. Because when I am in the class, I understand. But when I go to the platform, I I have a problem. OK, you, you get a little bit confused about it. But something that you can do uh, when you had that problem is that you can ask me uh, using the chat, uh, well, the WhatsApp group, the one that we have there, you can ask me there. Okay, if you have a problem with one exercise, you can tell me, like, teacher, I can understand this sentence, please, can you explain me? Things like that. You can say that in the WhatsApp group and I will try to help you as soon as possible, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Very good. So, uh, time is over. Thanks to you, thanks to uh, well, your three uh, here uh, in Thanks for being here because uh, in that way you are letting me know that you want to uh, learn, that you want to practice, that you are here because you want to uh, achieve your goals in this, this course that you are taking. Uh, very good. So I have to say good night to everybody here and blessings to all of you. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay. okay. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night, guys. Bye, Bye. Blessing. Thank Blessing. you, sir. Thank you.